Hi guys, welcome back. Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> And hello if you're new, my name is Sarah. My name is Olive. And welcome to the girls' new bedroom. Um, now this video isn't their room tour, but that is coming really soon. But today's video is going to be a back to school haul, which I know that a lot of you guys have been asking for and wondering where it's been. We have finally accumulated pretty much all of their back to school stuff and it is about to start next Thursday and Ollie's really excited. She's ready to go back to school, but I will say this summer flew because we've been so busy. So I am finally sitting down and filming it and what better place to do than their pretty new room. So we're going to film it in here and I'm going to share with you guys all the stuff that we have for back to school, including their backpacks, lunch boxes, clothes, shoes, all of that stuff. And if you've never seen me before, I have two daughters. My oldest is... Olive, me. And how old are you? I'm eight. And she's eight going on nine and my youngest is Eleanor and she is six so um, we're gonna share their fun sizes and they are very different in style and this year especially with Olive she's gotten very particular with the things that she likes and her style and the way she expresses herself and so um, she had a very specific code that she wanted to follow and then you have Eleanor who is way more um, <laughs> bright and expressive and loud and crazy and so their styling is very different so if you have a kiddo that can is in between those ranges or something then hopefully there is this is something here for you i will try to remember everywhere i got things but a, a big chunk of them i got in store um so i don't know if i will be able to find the links so i'll at least tell you the stores that i got them for so you can do a quick little searchy search but uh yeah let's get started Okay, really quickly before we get started, I will put a timestamp on if you want to jump past this and don't care to listen about any of this stuff. But first things first, if you guys have been wondering where we've been and how everything's been going, um, I know so many of you guys have been checking in on me, leaving comments, being so sweet and so excited to see the finished house and the room tours and all that stuff. Don't worry, it's coming. Um, but we have literally been in the process of moving and renovating and painting and cleaning this whole entire summer. That's all we have done this summer. And it has been kind of a nightmare and completely exhausting, but we are so close to being finished and I can't wait to show you guys the outcome of the rooms. I think that they turned out beautifully and I am so excited to show them. I point in what point taken I cannot think of that expression um is this room I think it turned out so beautiful and if you watched um my last like video two videos I talked about the girls room and gave you a mood board and decorating and all this stuff and we ended up completely flipping last minute and completely changing our minds and we went with a, in a completely new direction and it turned out so beautiful the girls absolutely love it it feels so pretty in here and so girly so I decided to film in here um, but I still don't have access to like my laptop and editing software um, you're not even on a tripod right now you're on a box and so we are just still kind of in the process of getting everything where it's going but I have been filming along the way so when I have the time which will happen really soon when we're officially done and the girls are back in school I will be editing and getting all of that content up for you guys I cannot wait to share it with you guys we worked so hard and I need to share it with someone because I am proud of how far we've come. So that is that. The next thing I want to quickly say is that it is blazing hot here in Texas. Things are literally melting. And as much as this fan that I'm sure you can hear is squeaky and annoying, I cannot turn it off, otherwise I will melt. So please ignore that in the background um, and just understand it's too hot to turn it off. So without further ado, now we are going to get started. Okay, so like I said, and Olive introduced herself, um, Olive is eight and she's entering third grade and Eleanor is six and she's entering first grade. So I'm gonna share with you guys their backpacks first. Every year the girls get new backpacks and the backpacks that we had previously end up being used for their sleepovers, for trips, for vacations, for um, staying over at my mother-in-law's house, um, for activities, all of those things we use them until they fall apart um, or they are, they've are they 
aged out of the size. Um, a lot of times they had a lot of toddler or smaller size and so we ended up donating them. And so we always like to have our back, like multiple backpacks on hand to go. So this year, the girls picked these backpacks. So this is um, Olive's. If you guys have watched any of my videos in the past, you will know that Olive is obsessed with Hello Kitty and the Sanrio character universe. Still very much a thing. Um, and so she found that, or I found this actually on um, Amazon and asked if she would like it. And this was totally the winner of all the other options we found. So, um, it was way too expensive in my opinion, but like I said before, she is a picky lady now. Um, but it is absolutely adorable and this soft pink is so pretty. It comes with this like little see-through pouch. She put one of her Hello Kitty plushies, this didn't come with it. Um, but I just love the cute little lace up front and lots of space. I will link this one below because this one was on Amazon. I think it's still available. It may not be, um, but I will have it linked below. You can find similar options all over Amazon if you can if that one isn't exactly available but um it's really cute it's nice we like it and then eleanor like i said ollie is my soft little like gentle little flower and eleanor is my like wild um tornado and i love it <laughs> they're both complete opposites of each other eleanor picked a very loud and bright backpack this is from children's place the girls had backpacks from the children's place last year and i was really really impressed with the quality of those backpacks they're still in excellent condition and i've gotten many uses um over the summer and will still continue to get use so we love those i definitely recommend the children's place they normally have great sales on their stuff and on their backpacks and they have proven to be of really great quality so eleanor picked this one it's like holographic um and then it has all of these like sparkles and sequins in it and it comes with like smiley face patches and hearts and rainbows and it's neon like it is it shows up um, it is bright and happy and it has a nice big pocket, um, a nice big interior, and we have this Powerpuff Girls keychain on the side because you will find that to be a trend for Eleanor this year. Um, it came with a big proof that she put on her lunchbox, which I'm about to show you, but this is from the children's place. For lunchboxes, they both got them from Target. Again, Ollie with this gentle, sweet pastel uh, strawberry box. This is from Lunchbox. This is from um, Target from the Room Essentials line. And it, it goes very sweetly and cutely with her backpack. Um, and then Eleanor's, again, very much on brand for Ellie. Um, she also likes Hello Kitty. Uh, she picked up this Hello Kitty backpack for, also from Target with this nice giant poof that was actually on her backpack that she decided to accessorize on her lunchbox. Um, she is very excited. She has since packed things in her backpack already and accessorized and taken all the tags off of everything. Um, and so if we were ever going to take them back, we aren't now. So those are their backpacks and lunchboxes this year. All right, I want to share with you guys our water bottle picks for the school year. We are sticking with Bottle Bottle. These are by far the best water bottles I have ever used. And we have purchased a ton of, of basic water bottles throughout the years and Bottle Bottle beats them by far. Um, the girls are getting these 24 ounce size this year. We upgraded them and these beautiful colors. Definitely check out Bottle Bottle because they have a ton of new sizes and features and colors. This is not sponsored. They're just kind enough to send them to me and I'm so thankful and grateful because these are the best. My kids are hard on their water bottles. I'm going to show you some that they have used all through last year. They're still in perfect condition. There's no scratches. Um, they are dented they're not crusty and faded and gross they're easy to clean they stick stickers on them and restick them and pull them off and they still are in perfect shape i mean those stickers have been on there for at least like nine months and they still look great and that's been through the dishwasher like they're insane these are the best bottles i highly recommend i will have them linked for you below because i cannot speak like better because they're so what that doesn't make sense i can't speak highly enough about them because they are so good next you guys ask all the time about the girls school supplies and i never show them it's because they have really basic school supplies their school supply list is not fun and exciting it is the most basic but they do get some fun like cute little scissors like those ballerina slipper scissors or 
cute little um, pencil sharpeners or pencil boxes that I shared with you. So I'll share those fun things, but this is actually the one, Eleanor, we decided to go ahead and choose instead of that little cat box. It's from Kroger. It was super cheap. It was in the basic, like, school supply section, not, like, the back-to-school section. And it's too, like, two-sided. It's so cool. I highly recommend it. I loved it, and she's loving it. So that was at Kroger, and then we actually changed the pencil pouch out for Olive to this one that was also from Kroger. It was this beautiful floral design, and it just fit her perfectly, and it had a lot more space than the other one that we got from Walmart. Um, and it was just so cute. So those are the little fun, you know, pencil pouches. And we have, like, fun sharpeners and a razor but that's about it. Their self-expression as far as school supplies goes isn't a whole lot in the elementary ages, um, but that's why I never share them because I just don't think that they're very fun and exciting, but that's their school supplies. All right, so we are going to jump into Ollie's section of clothes, and then I will share with you everything that I got Eleanor. Um, I think that'll be easier, and like I said, I will try to remember the stores and everything, but a lot of it I, we did pick up when we were in store, whenever that was. Some things we did order online, but a lot of it was just honestly in person. Um, and yeah, there's a lot that's there's a lot to share with you. So I hope you are comfortable and ready to see lots of cute clothes. Um, my number one rule, and I will continue to say this every single time I buy my girls like a large amount of clothes, whether it's for school or summer or um, you know winter when things cool down and things. If I buy them a chunk of clothes, I always recommend to just create a full outfit. Um, right then and there, it's just really easy so you know exactly top goes with these pants and this skirt goes with this top and this dress is this and this and this and this. It's just so much easier. Um, that way you are already ready to go, you know exactly what happens and you're not left with a bunch of bottoms and no tops or a bunch of tops and no bottoms. That's my number one like advice I always try to say every single year and it's the one thing I didn't follow this year. I was just trying to find clothes. Um, like I said, we've been so busy that the back to school shopping kind of snuck up on me and we just shopped and found what we liked. So I'm sure I can make things work, but just forewarning, that is my number one advice. Um, I still need to get Ollie a couple more pairs of shoes, but I did buy her a pair of just pretty pastel pink basic sneakers oh my goodness um these are actually from uh fab kids which i am a vip member on um each month and yeah so i got these i thought these were really cute she obviously likes pastel pink and white and you were going to see that be a trend um we got this adorable skirt from target it's actually a size extra small four five but olive is very very tiny and very very uh, petite and so she fits a lot of the four or five things at target anyway specifically bottoms this was on clearance for nine dollars it was originally 18 and it was cat and jack and olive loves anything white specifically white skirts and she loves florals on her clothes so um this was so cute i loved this i was so glad that this fit her um she also picked up this basic little blue floral uh, lettuce rib top um this is a size small it's actually kind of big on her but she was convinced that she had to have it um we found these just like really comfortable kind of like sophie style shorts um they are like fleece lined on the inside they're so soft and comfy they were on sale for $8.40 from Target, um, from the art class line, and they're long enough on her that she can wear them to school on just days that she wants to be comfy, because she either has days where she goes all out and wants to wear, like, full-on glam, or she wants to be comfy and wear, like, um, biker shorts and, like, t-shirts that have her characters that she likes on them. So we got these to go for those days. Um, both of my girls decided that even though it was like 115 degrees out that they wanted to also buy sweatshirts So Olive found this sweatshirt at Walmart um, Yeah from Walmart. Yes, and she loves her favorite like things right now are Pokemon um, Hello Kitty and Miraculous Ladybug So those are her favorite universes as of late and so she found this Pokemon sweatshirt at um, Walmart and had to have it so we will be putting this in the closet for quite some time but um it is very cute next thing she got from target was this adorable skirt um this 
these came out like right before we like left the store that day the they were stocking them and she was so excited so it's this cute kind of tennis style pleated skirt she's super 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 into pleated skirts so this is really comfy like stretchy kind of like athletic wear uh, material and it does come with a pair of shorts underneath it it is so cute the, these were from art class from target for 15 dollars each and she loved them so we got um, a pink one and there's another color in here as well that we will come across she also picked up th this from art class art class is her favorite section in target um and things do run a little bit big on her and so we typically have to get the small sizes um but this was so sweet and so cute it's just really pretty um baby blue butterfly dress with a little white shirt underneath this was from art class and this was twenty dollars and i just thought this was so sweet um so we have that uh another one of those pleated skirts we got it in blue i also believe that it came in white but we have a ton of white skirts in here so we decided to forego the white color even though i'm sure she would want it um so we got this really pretty baby blue most of her colors if you can't already tell are this pretty baby blue baby pink and white that is like what she likes that's what she asks for that she's very particular about her color palette she doesn't like anything too bright too like neon or hot pink or um too eccentric and eclectic but she likes things soft and gentle and pretty and so this is her little um other little tennis skirt i think these are so cute though so i'm totally down with it um she also picked up this white tennis skirt as well and this has um sh uh, shorts underneath it and it's just this really cute basic little skirt um also from art class also 15 dollars in the same area um another thing from target like i said hello kitty still going live and well luckily hello kitty's aesthetic is also her pastels so it's pretty easy to fit into all of her clothing um this was from target from 8.90 for 8.99 but i want to say these were on sale target's been doing a lot of back to school sales and clothing sales which has been really nice so um there's that and then she picked up this beautiful um purpley floral like peasant style blouse it's so pretty there's even like this like um almost like lace striped I don't even know, embossing almost on it. I don't even know what how to describe that. It's kind of raised, but it's not quite embroidery. I don't know, but it's absolutely beautiful. It looks so pretty on her. I do think they also had this in a really pretty sage green color, but she chose this one. Um, this was $14 at Target. It's cropped, but she, like I said, is incredibly petite, so it fits like a pretty like a large blouse on her. Um, but it's so pretty, and she wants to wear it with all of her skirts. Um, so what's so funny is like Ollie has like this, right? Like her soft, gentle vibe. And then she has like this side. And it's only for her character things will she do like wild and like eccentric. Otherwise, everything is gentle and soft. Um, but we found this on sale at Target. It's actually a little bit big on her. It's a medium um, eight, but it will be something she can wear for a while and grow into. But it is Pikachu and it's super cute and it looks adorable on her. And so it's just an easy play dress. She likes to wear dresses and skirts to school we have a ton of biker shorts that go underneath it but that's what makes her happy and with the heat and weather I do not mind it um, speaking of biker shorts we just got this pack from Walmart all of their biker shorts were on clearance and I believe this was like this was $4.98 but it was marked down to I think $3 but the sticker is not on it right now but yeah I think it was marked down to like $3 or something like that and it comes in a two pack so I got her a pack and Eleanor a pack I kind of wish I bought more um, at the time um, because they wear these practically every day because they both love to wear dresses to school um, another character set this is something that I picked up kind of on a whim for her I didn't know she would like it but it was on clearance for seven dollars and she has been absolutely obsessed with miraculous ladybug she watched the show like a couple of times when she was younger and she played like um like a temple run style like game on her iPad when she was younger and was into it and then it was like it she just didn't really like I think it was a little bit too old for her age and so I mean it wasn't an inappropriate by any means but the storyline was just a little bit more involved um, and but she's she, like was never interested in it since this summer she just randomly decided to watch it and like was like her first binge watching experience 
which I normally wouldn't be like, yeah, screen time all the way, but we were moving and she was just being such an awesome, she was just being awesome. Both of the girls were being so supportive and just being super helpful and stuff. And so she enjoyed watching Miraculous Ladybug all summer and got so into it. So I found this little set um, and I figured, you know, if it wasn't her style or vibe that she didn't have to, you know, wear it to school or anything, but it would just be a cute little night set. But she really liked it. So um, it's just cute and has a little patch on the hood and just, you know, Miraculous Ladybug. Um, but the new movie just came out on Netflix and she's watched that multiple times. She asked me quiz questions of the show that I have no idea about, but it's been really cute and she's been watching it a lot with my mom. Um, and then, speaking of Miraculous Ladybug, um, she also picked up this shirt from Target. Um, actually, I think my brother got this for her for a little surprise. So, it says Be Miraculous, another cute little character shirt um, that she can just, you know, wear with all of the white pleated skirts that we now possess. So, this is actually, I believe, from, where did I get this one? Okay, so this one is from Shein. So many of the like little popular skirts and pleated skirts are super easy to get on there. And um, we have like, I think a couple that she loves. And so I decided to order a couple more because she can't get enough of them. So um, this is another one. It's just really cute, white, longer pleated skirt um, from Shein. She is, I mean, honestly, Shein sizing is all over the place. So I'm not gonna even tell you her sizing because it wouldn't necessarily be accurate because a lot of times we have to send stuff back because it's too big or too small or we just never know. So, however, I really, really liked this skirt. I think it turned out so cute. Um, and yeah, so we got that one from Shein and then we also picked this one up um, from Shein. I actually surprised her with this one. Um, <laughs> this hanger's too large. <laughs> And so I don't want to stretch out the waist, so I've been like kind of off, like off hanging them. Um, but this one is really adorable, and it is um, like a tiered skirt, so it's a little bit more poofy, a little bit more fun. Um, and so I got her this as well. So again, more with the white skirts, but that is her fave thing. So we will see. Um, and I know it's been really popular this year with all like little tennis skirts and stuff like that. So I'm excited to be able to get my hands on more for her because I know how much she likes them. Another little thing from Shein is this adorable little kitty shirt. <laughs> um, she's still very much in love with cats. If you, oh, you can't tell because I don't have a tripod. But if you guys remember from our Christmas um, video, we still have our ever, our, our um, what, what were you? I can't remember the actual brand of the cat this was, but our little robotic cat friend over here, um, its name is Smokey, and it has already seen better days because it's been loved on so much, but uh, very much still sitting on her bed. And uh, yeah, so still very much a cat person. So I found this and thought this was too cute to pass up, so I got this for her, super cute. It is see-through. Um, I have to get her some camis. Um, just white basic camis to go under some of her clothes, but this was really cute. Now, this skirt is from Shein, and oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite things I think that I bought her this year. It gives me like Marie Antoinette, like the uh, Kristen Stewart one. Not Kristen Stewart, oh my gosh, Kirsten Dunst version. Um, and it is just my absolute favorite. It's this beautiful, almost like brocade style like fabric. Um, and these like little lace detailing and these like tiny little slits and like little bows. Like if I could, this is olive. Clearly, this is olive. Um, and I just thought this was so cute when I saw it and it looks so cute on her. So it's probably my favorite thing I purchased for her this year. Um, I think I'm gonna try to complete all the Shein stuff because that'll probably make it easier. So I also picked up this really adorable, just like um, ruched style t-shirt dress. Um, again, the florals, the baby blue, really cute, really comfortable, something she could easily wear and play in at school, but isn't, or it still gives her her feeling like she can just dress up and wear dresses whenever she wants. Um, I also picked up, again, this little cropped tee. Um, again, whenever there are cropped things, they're not really cropped on Olive, um, because she has a short little torso, but... She also has her pleated skirts that she wears like high on her waist, so it ends up working perfectly. Um, but I got this really adorable ribbed, lettuce trimmed, um, purple crop top. 
And then I picked up um, this little crop top because she is into cottagecore, fairycore vibes. And um, I just thought this little mushroom was so cute and it had little ruched sides. And I thought it would be so cute with some little high-waisted jeans and a little mushroom cardigan. Um, I haven't gotten the mushroom cardigan yet because it's so hot. I like I hate buying warm weather, warm weather th or cold weather things right now because I just the thought of it just makes me want to like go jump into an ice chest or something. And so I haven't ordered that yet, but I do plan on getting her a cute little mushroom cardigan to go with this in the fall time. But I just thought that was so cute. Um, and with little high waisted jeans, oh, so adorable. Um, and then. <laughs> Um, this is the outfit that I think she wants to wear on the first day of school. It is just a basic floral um, little dress. It's actually a cami, but she can't wear that to school with spaghetti straps um, style. Not, it's not a cami. It is a spaghetti strap style dress, and she can't wear those alone, but it does come with this little shell over the top. Um, and I think this is the dress that she's decided on to wear for the first day. Really, really cute. Um, nice and lightweight for the hot weather. Um, I then picked up this adorable, again, just basic little ribbed lettuce style crop top, crop tee, but it has this really pretty pink flowers all over it. Um, we picked up this two piece little thing, but it's actually one piece, but it looks like it's a two piece little um, uh, set. And this is so cute too, really cute with the little high waisted white pleated skirt or her denim skirt or denim pants just adorable really easy um, and gives a look without having to fuss over having two different pieces but we do layer a lot so um but i just thought that was so cute and then i think that is all from shein we went to um or i went to kohl's the other day to return some stuff to amazon and they got me and I bought stuff <laughs> but I found this really pretty dress and I honestly picked this up for Eleanor at first but I facetimed her because she was with my mom um and she didn't like it and I was shocked but Olive liked it and Olive has like totally grown out of her unicorn phase um but I think it's just because it's that pretty blue color and it's just floral um and it's just so sweet and it looked so pretty on her so I was so excited that she wanted this because I thought it was so so sweet it's just this really pretty lightweight little dress this is from jumping beans like i said i got this from um kohl's and then i picked up this on the clearance rack and i realized that i'm missing a part that goes inside it's supposed to be a two-piece set that had a cami included but it doesn't so like i said i have to buy camis anyway so it's not that big of a deal but i wish i would have known that so i would have looked for it um but it was on clearance for nine dollars and then i think it came down even more to like seven or something um but it's just a basic like little um kind of like i guess you could say cardigan slash shell slash shirt i really i mean i think it could be many of things um but it's just cute and like i said ribbed with the lettuce trim totally ollie and a very gentle like tie-dye um pattern on it and then i picked up just a basic um blue ribbed lettuce trimmed uh t-shirt but this it's like a very beautiful periwinkle and it looks um like cinnamon roll which is a uh, sanrio character that she's obsessed with and so i thought it would be really cute with her white shirt so she could be full cinnamon rolled or white skirt she could be full cinnamon rolled out um and i think that's all i got for her at kohl's so oh more target that i forgot i'm sorry um if you can't already see a pattern, again, more florals, more ribbed shirts, more lettuce trim tees. Um, this is from Target from the art class line. This was $8, but I think that we got everything at the, at the time, like 20% off or something. Um, and it's just cute, a little basic shirt. Um, and then, is that all from Target? No. Then um, we picked up this art class tee it's kind of like an oversized boxy cropped tee um and it says forever friends with kittens on it it's so cute this was ten dollars and like i said we got it um with that like 20 or 30 percent off or something during that day um and so adorable 
Um, she then actually picked this, which I was surprised because she can be picky with her graphic tees, but she liked this Cat and Jack um, little kitten t-shirt, which was really cute, and that was $6. And then, um, okay, I guess that's all for Target. So the last store is Old Navy. Oh, no, no, it's not all done for Target. Guys, I'm so sorry. Um, she already couldn't resist taking tags off and wearing these, but they were intended for school. But um, these adorable little Pikachu, um, like again, that, that like little Sophie style kind of shorts. Um, so gosh darn cute. And then it had, or then it came with, we got this top to go along with it, this um, Pokemon's little tee with Eevee and Pikachu on it. So, um, like I said, when she is not in her, like, full glam days, she likes to wear, like, comfy, cute, look, little graphic, easy stuff. Typically, a lot of the times when she has, like, PE or knows, like, she's going to do something, like, vigorous that day. Um, okay. Then, before we move on to Old Navy, I did get this, um, other item from Fab Kids, and I didn't know how it would go because online it appeared a lot more pastel than it did when it came in person but she ended up really liking it and i thought it was really cute it's kind of this marble style like little um like shell cardigan thing um and i just thought it was really cute and sweet so it's pretty and fun a little something different than all of the other stuff that she has so we got her that Okay, now moving on to the last bits for Ollie, which is all um, from Old Navy. So I got two of these. Um, some of them are still in hangers, some of them have not. The tags have been ripped off and just left with the plastic. Always my fave to see. Anyway, we got two of these um, little tanks that are floral and lacy. Again, with the lettuce trim on the bottom, really sweet. Something that she can still wear now while it's warm, but then um you know outside in the summertime but she can still wear to school we also picked up this cute little shirt that says girls support is this from old navy yes old navy um girls support girls which i just love i just freaking think that's such a cute little shirt i love the saying i ended up buying something for eleanor that said the same thing didn't realize it um but it's okay because that's what i want to teach them and i think it's super important so I love it, super cute. Um, picked that one up for her. And then I picked up a couple pairs of these shorts. There's like a soft, pretty, like pastel pink and another shade, and I don't know where the other two are, um, but they're like little ringer style shorts. Really pretty, really comfortable. And again, it's just for those easy days that she wants to be cool and comfortable um, and not too hot. So those are from Old Navy. I love getting just easy bottoms and tops and stuff from Old Navy. I love Old Navy. Like I've shopped at Old Navy since they were babies and I'm always so pleased with the clothes. So um, I picked up a number of these biker style shorts, these bottoms. Um, they're all ribbed and they were, well, I guess when you shop on oldnavy.com, they don't give you the price, which is kind of frustrating, but everything was like on a major sale um, and they were great prices and they're just these little ribbed biker shorts with little, like the lettuce trim at the bottom. And so I got her a couple again to wear with her bigger tees that she likes to wear, her t-shirts. Um, and I got her the oatmeal color. It's really pretty um, mustard yellow. There's also like a pink color and a, navy color and i don't know where those are either <laughs> but with the oatmeal color i got her it to wear with this little t-shirt which i thought was really cute it's a little bit big on her um i find that old navy runs a little bit large it is a medium but i just thought it was really sweet and still floral still very much like her but at least a different color <laughs> Than pink and blue. Okay, and then I also picked up this from Old Navy as well. This is also in a medium and it's a um, Pokemon tee. And again, loving the Pokemon. Um, and she just wears these with like longer biker shorts underneath for just the easy, comfortable days. So um, then I picked up uh, a pair of shorts. Um, actual more like denim style shorts and the shorts are hard for her at Old Navy because they're always run so large um, but these are high-rise 
little shorts. I got Eleanor a pair too, um, but I can't adjust the waist. So I always have to buy shorts still that I can adjust the waist because most times if I buy ones that are like denim and they don't, like if they don't have waist adjustments, they can't fit them. They'll fall right off their little, their little hips. So I got these this pair and they're pretty big, but they still fit um, and she really liked the color. So really cute, just easy, comfortable little denim shorts. Um, and then again, tags off of this, but I think that these are from Members Mark. Members Mark is Sam's. Members Mark is Sam's, yes, okay. So these are Sam's <laughs> little shorts. It came with a little um, poppet, and I think that's why she like took the tag off because she needed the poppet. Um, but they're just little butterfly, um, comfy, stretchy little denim shorts. Honestly, she probably could use a couple more pairs of shorts, um, but she's always wanting skirts, but hopefully we can make do. Um, we have these little pair of pink lettuce trimmed flares, um, lettuce edge trimmed flares that are ribbed that were from Old Navy. Um, I feel like they had just a bunch of this style of fabric and I mean, it's really popular right now and she really loves it and it's really comfortable. Um, I got a two pack of these little tanks. One of them is navy with stars on it. Don't know where it is. <laughs> this is just white with blue um, flowers on it and she can't wear this to school as is. Um, so she probably will wear a cardigan when it warms up or when it gets a little cooler, but I thought I'd still share with it because I know, shared this with you because um, they have a bunch of these like little packs together. And I know a lot of you don't have dress code issues with like the spaghetti straps and stuff for your littles and things. It's just... I think it's ridiculous, but I digress. Um, I want to share for those of you who don't have that issue. Same thing goes for these. Um, these are the last two things I have for Olive, but they are from Old Navy and they are spaghetti strap, but um, she can wear a little white t-shirt under these um, or a little cardigan later, but they're so cute. And um, they're just these little ribbed style dresses. This is that blue floral. They have pockets, which was really nice. Um, and I. I want to say I bought these in like a two pack together, but I don't really remember. It doesn't say on the tag. Yeah, two pieces. So I bought these in a little two pack and I just loved them. I thought they were so cute. So it was really pretty blue color um, and little like bottom trim and then like ruffle trim on the bottom. And then it came also with this really cute strawberry one, which I thought was so sweet and so cute. So um, she could honestly even wear this with that little shell that came with that Shein dress would look really cute over this one. So that is all of, oh, and some undies. So we ended up getting the Miraculous Ladybug little panty briefs, um, which are super cute as well. I always get them a new pack every like school year, Christmas, you know, we always need the, we always need the undies. So those are from Target. So that is all of olives 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 um quite a lot there so hopefully you got some cute ideas because they have a lot of cute clothes um and i can't wait to see her all dulled up for school um but i also don't want to put all these back now but i have to so let's me let me move these to the side and then we will move to eleanor okay let's move on to eleanor's i did divide it for the most part between stores so it should be pretty easy this time um i will start with walmart this is the most anticipated item that she has and the things that she's most excited about to wear she's gonna wear it on the first day of school and it's this little justice powerpuff girls black pleated skirt it is so cute it comes with this little chain on the side with all powerpuff girls it is absolutely adorable she had this folded in her um dresser so it got a little wrinkly but it is so so cute and there's built-in little shorts um inside so she can wear it without worrying about having to put shorts underneath it so so cute so we kind of started off on this and it went down this crazy powerpuff girl route so you're gonna find that we have a ton of powerpuff girl things which they definitely like to watch the show it's super cute i was so into the original powerpuff girl um, when I was little like obsessive with them and so it's fun to see them get into them as well and wear like very similar clothes because I had a bunch of little t-shirts and things um, and like accessories and journals and pillows and all that stuff too so it's fun to see them do the same thing 
Um, at least Eleanor. I also got this little Powerpuff Girl set. This was actually in the toddler section, but Eleanor can still fit a majority of the toddler stuff, even though she's actually pretty tall. Um, but I feel like their stuff is just so large. So this is actually a 4T. Like the 5T just looked massive. So I actually got a 4T um, and Eleanor 6, but it was $13.98. And I just thought this was so cute. This little two piece, um, like little terry cloth kind of style um, shirt and short set that she can just wear. Um, that's comfy and it has his girl power. I think that's so cute. Um, like I got with Olive, I also got her a set of biker shorts. Um, yeah, they were on sale for clearance for $4. So just her little pack of them as well. Um, and then I picked up this really adorable cropped kind of boxy tee that says be the good and it says be brave, be kind, be joyful. Eleanor's really into shirts that have back. <laughs> back designs and back prints on them um so she really liked this one um it was $4.98 and just really cute from Walmart it's massive on her because she's tiny but um still really cute I think I guess that was all from Walmart I thought I got more that went by real quick okay so that was from Walmart Okay, so I did get her a number of things from Fab Kids as well. I got her a um, number of biker shorts. So I got these really pretty, fun, like hot pink. These just give me like Barbie core vibes all the way. Um, little biker shorts. I thought these were adorable. And then I got her a pack of checkered ones. She absolutely adores checkered. I love checkered things. She loves checkered things. So um, some black and white checkered biker shorts. And then this little pair of smiley face checkered um, flowered ones. She loves all things smiley faces as well. So I found this little matching um, cropped like boxy tee and it says more sunny days and it's super cute and goes with those little smiley biker shorts. Um, she also got um, a pair of smiley sneakers um, from Just Fab that she could not, re or Fab Kids, that she could not resist wearing. So they're actually downstairs in our little shoe storage area, um, but they were really cute as well. You're gonna notice a lot of trends of smiley faces with Eleanor. Smiley faces and checks, where Olive was like pastel and florals. Okay, I did pick up a couple things for her from Kohl's as well when I took things back. Um, I got this little Powerpuff Girl tee. We were trying to find a cute like little kind of baby style tee um, for the skirt for her first day of school because all of the ones from uh, Walmart were sold out her size. So I picked this one up. This is actually in a size four. And it's still a little bit big on her, but it just was really cute from Kohl's from the Jumping Bean line. Um, and then I picked up this little like fun play dress from Jumping Beans. Um, the girls have had many of these in the past and we've really liked them. Um, they have pockets and Eleanor loves dresses with pockets and they just hold up well, they wash well, they're cute and they're easy and they're lightweight. And so this one is just checkered, pink checkered with smiley faces and peace signs and um, hearts and butterflies and planets and all of that stuff. So it's just cute and fun. So that is that one. And then this I could not resist. Um, it's too big for her, but she's gonna wear it with biker shorts, but it says my dog is my bestie <laughs> And it has a pug and if you guys don't know we have a pug named Frank and he's the love of my life He um, I've had him since college and he's about to be 12. He's an old pug um, But I just and it looks he looks just like that and I couldn't resist and then um, we unfortunately had to put our beagle to sleep um, she was about to be 16 years old and we put her to sleep unfortunately um had to put her to sleep in may and so this kind of makes us think of lulu and then we have a min pin that eleanor is obsessed with and there's not a min pin on this shirt but we're making this our little min pin and it's supposed to look like titan um but she loves dogs she loves our dogs like that's what she Put, spends her day doing is just cuddling and loving them and talking to them and doting on them so um, I had to get her this because it was just so cute and it was so her okay we are gonna move to Old Navy I got her a bunch of Old Navy things and I can't find any of them like I don't know where they're putting these clothes I know I unpacked them and put them in a special place to film this video and I can't find them um, but I got her a bunch of little t-shirts and a bunch of little shorts 
no more than they are, so I'm sure what I found. Um, I found this little checkered pink one um, that says Love Life on it, which is just cute. Again, checkered pink, <laughs> her thing. Um, and then this one that says Artist at Heart, which I just thought that was really cute as well. And it's kind of this like purpley periwinkle blue marbly kind of print. And then I got this um, dress um for her i think i mean i bought a small but she's absolutely an extra small um but again it's just kind of hard to know my girl's sizes are just so inconsistent um with the stores and so i picked this up it's a little bit big but it's still really really cute and just an easy again like play dress um for her so that was from old navy um from target she picked up this t-shirt from cat and jack that said uh, good okay cool and I just thought it was so cute um, again the smiley faces the checkered the fun tie-dye print or colors um, and these were on sale for they were six dollars but I think they were on sale for five dollars so we picked up a number of them that day so we picked that one up and then we picked up this one that says create your world which is really sweet and fun and again that kind of like fun little funky trend and pattern that she's into um, we picked up this shirt from art class and it says good days and it was just this really cute I think it's supposed to be kind of like a style like a vintage style baby tee but it absolutely is not because it's big on her but it looks still really cute so we picked that up then we picked up she wanted a matching Hello Kitty tee so she picked up her Hello Kitty tee as well to match her sister uh, she also really liked this little art class, again, like these little baby tees. This is ribbed and had like a little embroidery on it, and hers was a um, butterfly. And these were $10, but I think they were like in that 20 to 30% off sale thing as well. Um, she, they've never seen the show, but just because I feel like it's just a phenomenon for kids. Um, and Wednesday is very similar to Eleanor's personality sometimes. <laughs> um she that my brother picked up this shirt for her and she loves it it says on wednesdays we wear black so super cute fun fun for spooky time but also because it's wednesday um and then she was so excited for these she's been wanting a pair of ripped jeans for so long but again um the ripped jeans that she wanted were like the cool girl looking ones and they were just too big for her little waist but we were able to find a pair that actually fit her and they they're still a little big but we can make do they were from art class and they were on clearance for ten dollars and she was so excited so they're a little bit of ripping um in the knees and on the like the upper thighs and then they have like cut off and frayed at the bottom and they're so cute on her and she was so excited for ten dollars i was super excited to get them as well and they do adjust in the waist so that was kind of the main selling point for us because they have to have that um, for my kids she was definitely one of them uh who needed or who like would not leave the store without getting these two sweatshirts and then again that they cannot wear until probably october um at the earliest but she found this um, smiley face shirt that's supposed to kind of resemble Nirvana. And it says, have a nice day. And I just thought it was really cute. And she was obsessed. Um, and I think it's even more fun because it's supposed to look like Nirvana. And I love Nirvana. So um, got picked up that. And then <laughs> she loved this one. It had a pizza on the front, a slice of pizza. And it says Mama Mia's uh, pizza on the back. And these two were like... This is what she wanted. She was like, these shirt, these two sweatshirts and the jeans and I'm good. And I'm like, well, you really can't wear any of them because it's blazing outside. So we probably should get you some more stuff. But she was so excited for those sweatshirts. Um, we also found these pair of um, cargo pants that are light pink. They're so cute. These are a size small. They don't carry extra small art class uh, in store, at least not in my area. Um, in any of the targets in my area, which is really frustrating. I wish they would carry the extra smalls because I find that the extra smalls are always the things that are sold out online because people want to buy them. So I wish they carried them in store. Um, so these, I think, are going to be a little bit big, but I think she'll be able to grow into them just fine. But they're so cute on her. So um, we got these pair of cargo shorts, cargo pants. And then 
she picked up this little art class set the other day um, and it's like a little two piece set with a, a white tee and this like romper. This is actually a size small and like I said most of the art class stuff, there's like a tag here but not a, a tag here. Oh I guess it must have been when they connected. Um, anyway, um, this was a size small and again like most of the size small stuff in art class is way too large but this I think just ran really small so um, it looks so cute on her and she just got her hair cut back into her little bob and oh my gosh this is probably my favorite thing she's gotten I think it just looks absolutely adorable and with some like converse like her little black chucks I think oh I love it so I was super excited she got this and she liked it um she also picked up another one of those kind of like baby tees that were ribbed this is a little um teddy bear she loved this one so we got this one for her and then she found this and it was technically in the women's or like junior section but i think they're supposed to be like cropped like tops for juniors um and but we got an extra small and this thing let me tell you one the armholes were huge because she obviously doesn't have like women's to junior size arms but they're these must be so incredibly tight um on like women to juniors because they this like this bottom area was snug so wild but we decided because i was like we can't get it because it's too big it's going to show you know your sides and she was so sad so we tried it on with a white shirt underneath it and this looked like a little vest it was so cute so we ended up saying okay we can get it um it was only eight dollars but this was in like the junior section and of course all of our hello kitty friends again um she was in love and had to get it so really cute we found this care bears little set on clearance for $14 and it came with this like boxy little crop top and these like really cute little like paper bag waist style um, pink shorts with po uh, pockets again runs a little bit big on her but most things do um, but it was really cute and it, it was on clearance so um, she was very excited for this sweet picked this up moving on to the last section which is all she in besides these two things so um she also got a, a set of shorts from sam's and this is what they looked like with the tag because it had that so all of them must have taken off because of the tags that i did so she wanted her little poppet um but just basic cute shorts eleanor liked them because they had again the rips because she wants to be like a big girl so um I mean, these were like nine bucks at Sam's. I'm telling you, Sam's is great. I love, I am way more a Sam's person than a Costco person. We had a Costco membership and um, for a while, cause we had had Sam's for years, tried out Costco. It's not as good. I am a firm Sam's believer for life. I love Sam's. Um, picked up this pair of panties for her, um, all Hello Kitty. She really liked them. I think they're actually gonna be a little bit big. They look a little bit large, but they're very cute. Like little kind of, little brief style short style you know panties okay moving on to Shein so she also had that shirt like I was talking about with Olive that says girls support girls really cute bright pink little ringer style tee um, I got her kind of like a tennis skirt it has little shorts on the side and it has like this little slit so you can see that they're shorts I just thought that was really cute and I thought it would be perfect for her little baby tee like look how cute that is together oh i love it very cinnamon esque <laughs> like all of it's like um but really cute really really comfortable i think i'm actually gonna order a couple more in these because i think that they both will really like them and i think olive could use them and they weren't very expensive so i may order a couple more of those um i got this pair of like checkered style flare pants eleanor loves flares she loves just these easy pants. She wears them all the time. We have a number of pairs already from Shein that she wears all the time and really, really likes them. She's really, really long legs. Um, and so she takes after her dad. So these come into handy because they cover her long little legs. Um, and I just thought, again, the checkered and the pink and they're super cute. Um, because we were trying to find a top for all of those, for that uh, Powerpuff Girl skirt, I ordered so many Powerpuff Girl tops. So we got this cute one because Shein is doing a Powerpuff Girls like Cartoon Network collab. So um, we had this little 
Powerpuff Girls one with this cute like little cutout, like shoulder cutout. It looks super cute on her. And then this one's a little bit big, but I think it's still really adorable. It's Powerpuff Girls on the front, but then there's like this kind of like lace uh, crisscross in the back, and it's really, really cute. So this one as well. Um, and then this is a little two-piece set because I was worried that the cargos were going to be too big right now. So I was able to find another um, like pair of cargos because they were just so cute. These are a little bit more of like a, a darker hot pink. And so I got this little set and it came with this little um, car shirt, which my husband is obsessed with cars and will always be obsessed with cars. And I just thought it was so adorable and like he would like it too. So it came in this little set and I just thought it was too cute to pass up. So um, that came together. And then I have just a couple more things. Um, I got again like another pair of flared pants. These actually are ribbed and have that lettuce trim on the bottom like everything else I feel like we bought. Um, these are so cute and really comfortable. Again, something really cute on her um, that are easy for her to wear and they're lightweight so she can wear them um, even now when it's blazing hot outside. And then I got this tee to go with it, um, smiley face, but then the back says don't worry, be happy because like I said, she loves things that have like prints on the back and it looks so cute with these little checkered pants. So very cute, very Eleanor. And then this came in a two-piece set, another Powerpuff Girls uh, collab, and it's a little black skirt, and it has Buttercup on the bottom. Um, and of all the Powerpuff Girls, Eleanor is absolutely Buttercup, and Olive is absolutely Blossom, and I'm still very much Bubbles, so we all fit, even if I'm the mom. <laughs> um, and so it came with this really cute little... Um, zebra little top that has buttercup on the front and adorable and then um i picked up this set that is not the best quality because you know it's shein and that tends to you never know what you're gonna get i realized that there is i'm hoping that this is not paint i accidentally got paint from when we were painting but we will have to find out but it's just this really cute little um checkered rainbow skirt and then it came with this little like spaghetti strap top and this is absolutely something she has to wear a little like white t-shirt underneath but it's really really lightweight um and really like cool so i think that it'll be good for school stretchy cute adorable it's just not it's like that like really thin fabric so i don't know how long it's actually gonna last but hopefully we can get a number of wears out of it because it's super cute and then last but not least, we have this dress that I just thought was so cute. It looks like a little rocker dress, um, a little 90s style plaid dress, and I just thought it was so adorable. It has a little rose um, on the top, and then it flares out into this like red and black plaid, like looking like she has like a plaid shirt wrapped around her waist. It does come with a little tie to cinch in the waist, which it needs to because it is a little bit big on her, but it is so cute. And again, with some chucks underneath, oh my gosh, I think she's going to look adorable. So I got that for her. And then I had one more thing to show you, and I don't know where they are. Oh, okay. I normally buy a lot of my hair clips and accessories and stuff for the girls there because they are great prices and they have so many options. Um, and so a majority of our hair clips come from there. But I got this pack of Care Bear clips because Shein's also doing a Care Bear collab. And they're so cute. And I don't know where the rest of my accessories and hair clips and stuff that I got from this order were because I did buy a number of things for the girls. But I did find these and they're absolutely adorable and I thought that they were perfect for her little Care Bear two-piece outfit set. Um, and she has her little bob, so just putting like two little clips in will be so cute. Okay, that is the end of it. You coming? Mm -hmm, to say goodbye. Okay, so that is the end of it. We finished, we are officially done. I am ready to hang these clothes back up and know that we can start school now that we filmed this video. Um, mm -hmm. Are you excited for back to school? Yeah, I am. So um, I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you keep an eye out for our room tour video and kind of our decorating video of this room. I think it turned out so cute. Do you think it turned out cute? Yeah, I really like that. 
<laughs> and also um, our room, our Taylor Swift playroom area is done. Um, our library is finished as well. We have so many things to show you and we can't wait. We've been working really hard on it and um, it's gonna be super fun. So keep an eye out for those videos and I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.